Hey guys, this is Super Fortune Cookie here today with another League of Legends uh, video. Today we're actually going to be starting kind of a new series that I'm going to be doing on my channel, and uh, actually I think it's going to go fairly well. I'm actually going to start from the first champion and go all the way to the last champion and make the guide for each champion. Um, I'm hoping to do one maybe every day, so that'd be what like a hundred and like a hundred days maybe or something like that. I don't know how many exactly champions there are, but, um, so yeah, let's just get started. So, the first champion will be Aatrox. Alright, so Aatrox, uh, is a fighter, secondary tank, um, let's just go over kind of his skins here. Uh, this is his classic skin, as you can see, and his, um, Justicar, um, skin here. So, let's go right into his abilities now. Um, so... Let's start with his passive, actually, and we'll go kind of in order there. This is his passive called Bloodwell. Um, when using an ability that costs health, uh, Aatrox stores the self-inflicted damage into the Bloodwell. Upon taking fatal damage, uh, Aatrox extracts the blood from the well and recovers it as health over a brief duration. Additionally, Aatrox gains 1% attack speed for every 2% blood that is in the well. So, pretty much like a Guardian Angel type thing going on there. Um, his Q, Dark Flight, Aatrox takes flight and slams down at a targeted location, dealing damage and knocking up enemies at the center of impact. So, let's play the video one more time in case you missed it. So, he jumps up and knocks the person up, uh, center of impact there. W, Bloodthirst slash Blood Price. <clears throat> While toggled on, Aatrox deals bonus damage every third subsequent attack at the expense of his own health. While toggled off, Aatrox restores health every third subsequent attack. So, as you can tell, um, this allows him to have great dueling potential by either dealing more um, damage, taking his own health, or by healing himself um, every, auto every third auto attack. So this gives him great dueling potential, and that's why he makes a great um, top laner solo lane. Next is his Blades of Torment his E ability. Aatrox unleashes the power of his blade, dealing damage to all enemies hit and slowing them. So, as you can see in the video, it looks like a cone-shaped thing, and it uh, kind of just travels like a triangle there, and it just travels down. Uh, yeah. So that's his E. And his ultimate, finally, uh, called Massacre. Aatrox draws in the blood of his foes, damaging all nearby enemies around him and gaining increased attack speed and bonus attack range for a short duration. So, again, this gives him great dueling potential and actually some range on his auto attacks. Um, so let's go in some, to some tips and tricks in playing him and how to play against an Aatrox. Um, playing as Aatrox, you want to avoid engaging in a fight with low health unless your blood well is full so that you can regain enough health to continue fighting. Building lifesteal can be very potent on Aatrox to help con compensate for his health costs. Massacre is great at turning the tide of a battle. Make sure to use it at the right moment to maximize the benefits from it. Playing against Aatrox, you want to make sure when Aatrox takes fatal damage, he is healed for the amount currently in his resource bar. Landing a fatal blow on him while the resource bar is low will result in him reviving with a lower amount of health. Also, when Aatrox casts Dark Flight towards your location, avoid being knocked up by moving away from the center of impact. Another thing to remember is Aatrox is auto-attack reliant for most of his damage and survivability. Reducing his attack speed by purchasing Randuin's Omen or Frozen Heart can help reduce both of these com components greatly. So, let's uh, go over some runes and masteries for Aatrox. On Aatrox, I like to take, uh, let's see here. Um... I like to take Lifesteal and Armor Pen. The Lifesteal Quince will grant him great survivability in lane and also just great sustain overall. Armor Penetration, great on any AD top laner to have, especially against tank um, AD top laners such as Mundo, uh, Shivana, just Renekton, any top laner that's really tanky. Um, armor Seals, very standard, and Magic Resist Glyphs, also very standard. For Masteries, I'd probably go for for um where is it standard ad top 9210 taking nine points in offense here 21 in defense getting some recovery and some perseverance just getting a lot of health regeneration back 
and just becoming a little bit tanky overall. So that's my runes and masteries for uh, Aatrox. Um, items for items, uh, I like to actually go for boots. Um, either you can either get Mercury treads, uh, Ninja Tabby, and that's pretty much those are the two main boots you'd want to get there on Aatrox. Um, then I would go for maybe like a Blade of the Ruin King item. Um, just for the life seal, attack speed, overall damage, and the active is just great on him. Or you could go for, like, a Ravenous Hydra. Um, then I'd probably go for, like, maybe an attack speed item. Let's see, what attack speed items do they have here? Um, maybe a Zephyr situational would be okay. Um, then just build pretty much, like, Spirit Visage, um... Just more damage items are always great on him, and yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please um, like the video, and if you want to see more of my videos and content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, it really helps a lot, and uh, yeah, this is Super Fortune Cookie, signing out.